Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Ned from Nev's Tech, but today I wanted to do a little look-see at the D-Link HD Pan Tilts, not zoom though, it does not zoom, unit that you can get on, well, Amazon's where I got it. I'm sure you get it at Best Buy or any other specialty location. One of the interesting things about this unit is that it can follow you around. One of the only negative things though, is that if it follows you too far, it will get hung up, just like that. And I keep coming back to it and it is caught up somewhere. So the way you can get around that is basically just set a home position somewhere. But this thing is great if you want to have something for uh, watching the kids and you got a big room or, uh, well, security. We had a situation lately where we had some uh, creepy people hanging out, clearly checking out a particular house, and we think it might have been a private detective at one point or something like that. There's a story behind that, but in order to keep secure, it's good to have stuff like this. Now, in order to see the video, we can either take the memory card right out or we can go to the D-Link app. And then when you get your camera, you hit view. Now, when we're within the camera, you can click on it. And then we can move the camera to the side. Now, from this view, you get full screen and you can see me in the background there. So, let's say you want to look at something else. We would tap and then we would press move. So you see that box in the top left? The white is where we're going, and the red is where we're going to go to. It's a little bit touchy, and you kind of got to get a good idea about how far it's going to travel. Because sometimes you just want to move a little bit, you think you're going to move a little bit, but then it turns out you're going to be like, all the way over there. Yeah, yeah. So you, you got to get used to it a little bit. Next up, let's talk about some of the features, like privacy mode. When you enable privacy mode, it gives you the ability to have some privacy and then get busy with your income tax. This is an excellent way that you can get to the uh, micro SD card that just plugs in right there. I believe it can take up to 256 gigs. I got a three, 35 gigabyte card in there. I've had it in there for about mm, three weeks, and the card is only 12% used right now. And I have a very busy household, and this thing's getting lots of video. The unit itself comes with this mount that clips onto the bottom, and then you can hang this unit up and uh, use it upside down. Or you can invert the camera so you can hang it upside down and still see what's going on just like that. Another awesome thing about this camera is it can activate night vision. So right now I'm seeing that as red light. I believe if you knew what you were doing, you could go in there, disable that red light, but also what it's doing right now is throwing out infrared waves. Now when you use remote control, it sends out infrared light. Just like we're seeing right here, that's infrared. My eyes cannot detect that but a camera's eyes definitely can. So infrared light, invisible to regular people, is great for security cameras to light up the night within them. Let's test this out. So here's a view of the night vision on the inside, close range. That's about what you're looking at. That's about what you can expect to see. It's pretty good. It's, uh, it's reasonable as far as security cameras go. I, uh, I like it. It's a good picture, 20, 20, uh, 20 megapixels, 20 megapixels, not so bad, not so bad. Yeah. 
So here we got an actual video of what it looks like on the inside while lights are on. So here I've gone off site just to verify that this app will definitely work while you're on different Wi-Fi. And with this video I'd like to let you guys know that sometimes I get some issues connecting to this thing. Sometimes I can't connect my first try and what I have to do is just close the app entirely. Close it entirely. Go back into it and then it will work for me. So here we have a pretty good idea of what it looks like at night. You can just barely see the neighbor's place. I can see my own house. I can see people that go by on the sidewalk, but I definitely wouldn't be able to easily identify them unless they came up to the lawn about halfway. I got this thing outside, it's zero Celsius, and I'm not having any problems. It started snowing a little bit, and the camera <laughs> was all over the place. That was interesting. I should say this is not an outdoor camera, but uh, just testing it out anyways. Now let's have a look at the user interface for the app. I don't believe that we can do anything with the, uh, with the computer. You have to have a smartphone. So we go up here to settings, and at the top you'll see the name of the camera, camera mic camera face, privacy mode of course will uh, turn the unit off, motion sensing, auto tracking, um, point to go, you can change it so that uh, you don't point to go, that you use other methods. Auto homing is what I showed you before where you tell it this is where I want you to stay. But it seems to drift a little bit. Anyways, night vision, that's where you can go to turn things on and off. Camera mode, or camera microphone, you can make it so it doesn't record any audio. Anti-flicker, something you won't worry too much about. Invert image, if you click it, uh, the image will flip around. Pan tilt control, status LED, if you turn that on, um, then you're, you will have light at the front of your unit. Uh, de designated contact, you can click on that and basically get emailed if something happens there's wi-fi time zone or you can just remove the device and yeah and then you can put multiple cameras in right here and here we got an example of a perfectly uh, light and rainy day so it doesn't look too bad you can still kind of see what's going on i definitely think having this thing outside for uh too long is going to kill it and once again, so this is almost as far left as it can get. And, uh, oh, it's actually in a place where it uh, reasonably should be. I came up, it was looking all the way to the right, and it was telling me that it was uh, in the middle. <laughs> so there's definitely some calibration uh, stuff going on here. But in the long run, I definitely think that this is a valuable product. I definitely think that uh, this can help you out with your security needs for a reasonable price. It's just a little bit more expensive than a wise cam. And uh, it pans and tilts greatly. I'm going to do a video comparing it to the wise cam sometime, but not today. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other.